all right so how's it going so here we are just a few hours later uh well i had to i don't think this i don't i couldn't get the damn seal out um there's a bearing on each side of the, of your like i don't know what you want to call it the center here they got a bearing here and a bearing back there um this bearing goes somewhere in here uh, but I had to destroy the old seal to even get it out. There's, I don't know. There's never no... People always say to save them. Um, just in case you need them. You know, like, even though they leak. But, you know. There's no freaking way of doing that. And now I don't remember exactly where... Um, where this bearing goes. I thought it would have went right here in this, inside this lip. But I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. So, I'm trying to remember, I think it was pretty much right up against the seal, kind of too. So, I wasn't. I was hoping to not have to take the stinking bearings out, but this one just kind of fell out because I was trying to readjust it because I had to destroy the seal to get it out, and then I seen that the First, I tried to use the bearing itself. I tried to drive it out with using the bearing, but the, that was, wasn't going to happen. I would end up destroying the bearing, <clears throat> which I don't want to do because I don't have spare bearings. And these bearings look like they're perfectly fine, so I'm just going to uh, end up reusing them anyway. But, yeah. So there's your... Uh, there's a PTO shaft. There are no, <coughs> there are no no snap rings in here. Um, I got the gear off. Unfortunately, you need a, uh, uh, a what do you call them? Stupid t machine or those tools? Um, a pulley puller or whatever you want to call them, or a bearing puller or whatever. You need those. You need. You just need a puller. And I don't have none of those, so I had to walk it back and forth. It was a very tight fit, but I walked it back and forth, you know, ever so slightly. And with time, it was coming off. I'd say it probably took me a good hour just to get that off. We are mostly just trying to figure out how to, how to freaking do it. Um, but yeah, now i got to clean these damn bearings back up before I put it back in there. But I didn't. I didn't want that bearing to come out anyway. I wanted it more or less just to, wanted to readjust it. But I just got to clean it up and then shove it back in there. It all feels perfectly fine still. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I was. I'm just far into it. You might as well put new bearings and stuff in it. But I don't have them. And I really am just here for the seal. I'm not here for nothing else. But you can see how far you had to got the stupid thing in order to try to figure out how to get the stinking seal out so but i don't know put it back together now i guess hopefully maybe i'll get the um there is that little pipe there right there that goes between the bearings basically right in this little red spot um, basically it just takes up slop i guess um, <clears throat> so you got to make sure you put that back in before you forget anything. So put this bearing back in, clean it up, put it back in there. And then, uh, I'm going to put my new seal in and then, uh, I'll probably, I don't know, go until dark, I guess, but that's how far I've gotten so far. It was a nightmare doing this. It, uh. I don't know, there was just the seal, the thing is just so freaking tight, you can't drive it out with the bearing. And I tried to drive, you know, the bearing's in the way, so you can't, you know, take a, a punch and punch it out from the back side. So, I don't know. So, the only way you're going to get these stupid things out is you're going to have to probably cut it. If you don't want to mess with the bearing, you have to cut the, the seal 
with something or I don't know something and get it out. See, obviously I've destroyed it trying to get it out. So it's probably the freaking original one to the tractor. So, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Pretty much all it, guys. I'm going to put this thing back together now, and uh, I guess so I will see you guys whenever I am closer to being done. So, see you then. All right. So here's an update. We. Uh, Got the new seal in. Um, not this bearing, but the other bearing on the other side. That one was really a fight because I don't think it's in the right place. Um, but I think, I don't know, it feels fine when you spin it. So, okay-ish. Um, but if that bearing is not truly up and down or straight, you know, if it's cocked, it throws it all out of whack here by like a quarter of an inch so those bearings really have to be in in dead perfect you know they have to be in there perfect otherwise they're not going to get that shaft to go through and when you pound pound your 540 shaft back through it's going to push this bearing back out so i kind of just went back and forth pounding this bearing back in and pushing the shaft back in and whatever else so all I gotta do now is put the keyway back in and the gear. And uh, let's see if I can turn it around so you guys can see it. Okay. There's the new seal. I'm praying to freaking God that that's gonna work. You have to, I don't know if you have to do it with this one or not, but I heard that things will go in a lot nicer if you lube everything up so i lubed up the the seal when it went inside the casting i put just a thin layer of oil in it and then the same thing for the rubber seal and the pto shaft that all got lubed up real nice um so everything would slide in without not too much of a fuss i guess but still a fuss nonetheless so i'm um, uh, I'm praying this is going to work. I pray this is my problem. Um, but, I don't know. That's all really I got to do now is just put all that jazzy stuff back on it. And then uh, we're done. Um, PTO will be done. And all we got to do then, after that, um, is do the the pulley seal then which hopefully would be a little simpler than this this ended up being a pretty big this ended up being a pretty big job so but I don't know but hopefully it's done correctly i you know if the if one of the if that outer bearing is on on an angle then the shaft will be on that angle it won't be on the angle of this bearing so yeah so hopefully i mean it, it looks uh, let's see if i can really re yeah Looks pretty much straight to me, so I think we're good. Um, all I gotta do now is put the damn gear back on it. It goes on down here. You got your keyway, which is that guy, and then your gear, your gear which I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean all this up, obviously, and so it goes on nicer and then Kirsten you got to put your bolt in your locker yeah your locking washer and then this big thick washer that's a real man's washer right there look at the thickness on that son of a bitch of course I think it's needed to take up slack on that the bolt threads inside of here that probably just makes sure that it's tight 
that actually wasn't too bad when I loosened it. I thought it would be, you know, 100,000 foot-pounds of torque put on that. But, I guess not. Now I just gotta be careful to make sure I don't over, over tighten this. And I can put this on here tight and then I can go back later online and see if I can find a torque spec for that. And I think I could actually torque that to spec. Cause I, I have inch pounds and then foot pounds. My torque wrenchers are in, under, are in that toolbox. So, but for now I'm just gonna get everything hand tight. So that way everything's back where it needs to be and whatever else. So, but uh, yeah, I'll come. I'll, I'll bring you guys back uh, when I have the gear on, and then uh, whatever the hell else I guess. That's the next step. So, looks like I am not missing any parts, or I didn't forget anything. I don't notice anything. No, just the pulley and uh, the bolt. I uh, already put the new seal in. Like I said, here's the old one again. In case you come here, you bastard. I don't know if that was the problem or not, but well, I mean, it, I'm pretty sure it was. But hopefully, it fixed it. There's definitely no reusing that one. What's in there now is what's just going to have to work. So, but it sounded like you were supposed to lube the shaft up and the. Uh, your seal like right here and then where the rubber thing is at that's just to make sure everything can slide in without too much friction and maybe possibly cutting something so that's what i did hopefully it was the right call i don't know i'm not a freaking mechanic so but i don't know it's not going to go back on the tractor tonight though that's for sure i'm going to see if i can find a torque spec for this and make sure i torque it correctly even though it doesn't really need it but I'd rather see if I could find it. Um, if, well, by the time you guys see this video, the job already be done. So, gotta try to find it online. And I'm, I'm sure it won't say in the book. So, but yeah, I'll bring you guys back uh, when I have the gear on. So, see you in a few minutes. All right, guys. So, I think we are officially done now. Um. It was definitely a bastard to get this shaft or this gear on. And it was hitting here or something goofy. I don't know, but I think it was engaged or disengaged. I don't remember what is what. I think right now it's disengaged. I think. Um, but ain't going to matter. This is another thing I got to fix too now. Um doesn't stay in there anymore the wire that was for it it see it broke out or something there so clean that up and uh I'll put a i don't know small nail or something in there but anyways i had a small problem um i was going through the motions of engaging and disengaging this just to make sure everything was still going to you know perform like it should and uh this thing it got too far out it's, there's a spring in here and then like a little um little silver guy in here it's like shaped like the tip of the, of the bullet of you know of a bullet and it sits in, the, in these little holes there while the spring went shooting off the little bullet looking guy shot off way over there i think something else shot off too but i don't know what it was because it's been some debris or something but um so i tried to put it back in there but there was too much spring tension when you would try to push it all in there well there is a screw here that you can back off to not have so much tension on the spring that's how you can adjust i guess i suppose the easiness of that to turn on and off right now it's it's pretty much right back to where it was originally so actually no it's turned all the way in um, so it should be fine again, hopefully, but now I gotta, I'm gonna fix this stupid thing in the morning. I'm done for tonight. Um, but yeah, 
So other than that, we are pretty much back together. I don't, I haven't torqued that. It's as tight as I can get it. And uh, that's just the way it's gonna have to be. So I'm pretty much tired of fussing with this thing for tonight. And I'm gonna work on this tomorrow. Either find a piece of wire or um, just a nail or something. I, I noticed that there was a piece of wire um, in it right here but since I think about it I think that was the piece of wire that went from here to somewhere on the tractor I think what it was is that they tied this so it wouldn't ever fall off maybe this has been known to pop off and then people lose it so they have to order new ones so I think they put a new piece of wire in there and then they tied it to the tracker, so if that ever did pop off, well, then they would never lose it. So there's a possibility that I'm going to, I guess, do the same thing. I'm going to clean all this up and then uh, clean the holes out, and then I'll throw a new piece of wire in there. And then that should hopefully help that. So, but other than that, we are back together 100%. Um, looks like nothing moved. It wasn't supposed to move. New seals in. So hopefully that'll fix the issue. And then just a shit ton of freaking cleaning up after this. But what are you going to do? So. But. Yeah, I guess I didn't need. Well, I had to use that and that. To drive this thing on more. And then. I kind of go back and forth between the board and then I use the screw itself to try to push it in and then sure enough I guess I did something and then I drove it in with the rest of the way with the screw, the screw, the screw or the bolt and then I had to put my locking washer and stuff back on there afterwards. I took that off just so I could you know have as much as the bolt as possible. So but that's it for now. Um, like I said, I'm just going to clean up this surface a little bit more tomorrow. I suppose with some, with some brake cleaner or something. I got a little, I got some of that here. And then, uh, let's see if I can get some of my tools out of here. Because I like to clean up my workbench a little bit here. Um, yeah. So, uh, just cleaning out the workbench. Just getting rid of a few tools is nice. So, clean up. Uh, here's an old seal if somebody's looking for a, most likely a uh, original seal. Not usable. Um, pray to God that the new one will work. And then, uh, when this is all said and done, I fix this, clean up the surface, and then I'm going to go to the farm. Don't know if that'll be tomorrow or not. And I gotta clean up the surface on the tractor with some brake cleaner, I guess. Scrub it down with some rags. Um, and then I got the new gasket for it. It's in the blazer, but I just, uh, yeah. I've been at this pretty much kind of on and off throughout the day, so glad to be. Oh, glad to be done with it, even though it was fighting me. The bearing fought me on this side. This There's two bearings in here. Well, this bearing was fighting me. Finally got it lined up pretty good, and it seems to spin fine. Um, getting this back on was a fight, but it was a fight getting it off, too, so I figured it would be a fight going on. Um, went through a couple of different ideas. They both seemed to help, so I did that. For this, you definitely need a need a pulley of some kind to pull that off, a bearing pulley or a whatever, whatever gear puller or whatever. I don't know. And then I got to fix this, and then go to the farm tomorrow, clean up the other surface on the tractor, and then we're done. I think we can uh, put it back together, and then I'll order. Uh, the seals and the gasket and stuff for 
the uh, belt pulley set up and then we'll fix that but for now I'd be happy just to get this back on the tractor um, I don't think we can run it without it can we I don't think so well I, well maybe we could I don't know I probably could run it without it because I think there is a I think there is bushings in there too but they're not I don't think they're leaking so I don't know is it uh, it could just be a I don't know it's something wonky but I don't think it's leaking so I'm not going to worry about it um, but yeah I don't know hopefully this will this will work um I hope that I even use this, this. This is just a piece of wood. I've used it on the, the farm house engine. And uh, this is what I was using to drive down the engine pistons. But I've gone through quite a few of those. I just wrap it in like Google tape or Gorilla tape. Um, just so I don't splinter the wood and get it in my fingers and whatever the hell else. Um, so, yippee do! I think uh, we are, I think, done. Where am I going? <laughs> I think we're pretty much done with that now. Oh, thank God. It was, I mean, I don't like it when things fight me. This was an unfortunate thing. This should have never really happened, but I don't know. Unfortunately, if you think if you lose that, <laughs> then you got to pull it all back off. It'll most likely be sitting down in here, you know. So, but I don't know. It is what it is, I guess, at this point, guys. But, this, but anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. I'm done for tonight. I, uh, oh yeah, I've had my my fun. So I want to call it a night and uh, just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. So clean up a little bit, at least then if you clean up a little bit now, there'll be this to deal with. But at least it was nice to know that there, that there was no uh, snappering in there, which, which I'm surprised there wasn't, but there wasn't. So pretty much all that holds it together is this bolt and I think the... The bearings when you snug them in i think that's what all holds it pretty much in place so but if anybody wants this used slightly used bushing hit me up it's most likely a uh, original so 100 bucks 100 bucks hit me up <laughs> well you can't i don't have a I don't have an email address set up for my viewers. I know a lot of big YouTubers do, but I don't. I'm not that big of a YouTuber that I need to. Plus, I don't want to get spam and shit like that. I get enough of that crap. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take off. So, I guess I have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take your easy.